girls, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing my March favourites. So if you would like to see what they are, then just keep on watching. With my favourite, favourite, favourite lipstick of this whole month has been um, a lipstick by MAC, which is up the amp. And this is the lipsticks that I'm currently wearing now, which is a nice, gorgeous, uh, purpley lilac shade. And I've absolutely been loving this shade and been using it a lot throughout the month. And mostly as an everyday lipstick I'd actually say. My Chanel Retractable Kabuki brush. This is the brush that I do keep um, with me um, in my makeup pouch, so my Louis Vuitton makeup bag. And this is just so quick and easy just to put on touch-ups or just to put on makeup if I haven't had a chance to already do some. so with my MAC Compact. And that takes me on to my next product which is actually the MAC Studio Fix powder. So this is in N. C42 and I absolutely love this to touch my makeup up in the day if I need to and it even comes up with it comes with a latex sponge or if I um, haven't done my makeup and just want something really light then I just use this with my Chanel brush. Been these Revlon colour bursts and this is in the shade 225 and this is a really gorgeous um, nude colour that one there so it's really really nice colour for every day and they smell like peppermint so they also nourish the lips and it gives you a really nice matte finish cracks in there over the winter time so I did buy this uh, Rouge Coco Balm by Chanel and it's just divine it's just a clear balm and I've just been using this every single day on my lips and it's made a hell of a lot of difference and it does give you a really uh, sparkly shine to your lips as well. Is my refillable um, spray perfume thing. <laughs> yeah, I've just been refilling loads of perfumes and sprays in here. And the perfume of the month that I've been loving is the Hugo Boss, um, the orange one in this wiggly bottle. That's one I've been loving this month. Nails, I've been loving these Quickies 20 Nail Varnish Remover pads, which you can purchase from Boots. Um, they're only like £1.50 I think it is and I just find these really quick and easy to take off um, my nail varnish. I've just been loving these and also the YSL Instant Eye Makeup Remover which you ladies have seen in my um, bedtime routine. If you haven't I will list that down below so you can check that out. can't stress this enough but my holy grail products for the start of this year and I've just been loving, loving, loving and words cannot describe how much I love these products and these are the YSL uh, Youth Liberating Eye Serum and the uh, Corrector Pigmentation Light Creator and these are a godsend. I've noticed probably 60% difference in my face so far and I've still got a lot of product left and I've still got a long way to go I've noticed such a big difference so these have definitely definitely been a favourite and if you haven't checked these out please do check them out if you've got um, under eye dark circles or pigmentation problems then these are definitely the uh, thing that you will need and I will list everything in the down box below where you can purchase everything from as well so yeah I've been loving loving these also to contour again this month another favourite is the NARS Eater Kabuki brush absolutely holy grail brush and I love it so much so um, this month been wearing a lot, la a lot of lashes more than I normally do so I've been loving my House of Lashes lashes and the ones that I currently are using are, is in the um, design Temptress and they're them wispy ones there which I absolutely love. Skincare routine um, to remove my makeup is the Garnier Skin Naturals Cleansing Water which a lot of you ladies have seen in my bedtime routine video again if not I will list that down below but I've absolutely been loving this again I've not trying to be using wipes on my face only if I'm in a massive rush which I'm usually not I will mix this with the YSL use the YSL for the eye area and then use this around with cotton buds for the rest of the face and I find that it does I'm not tugging on my face as much as I usually do with wipes that like you're pulling on your face you just literally dabbing it gently and the makeup just comes off like a glove Got this in the package, but I just bought this probably at the end of February, I'd say. Yes, yeah, so I've been using this for the whole month of March, and it is the Macadamia uh, Natural Oils Shampoo Conditioner Oil Treatment 
deep repair mask and deep condition treatment and seriously ladies I seriously cannot stress enough how amazing this is I just think it's phenomenal and like as you ladies can tell from my hair like looking at it I've just blow dried this I've not even straightened it and I've got obviously a couple of kinky bits but it just does an amazing feel to your hair and it gives you that just nice natural wispy effect so definitely do check the macadamia um, products out if you already haven't done so because they are a godsend and they are absolutely amazing again another favourite this month uh, after mention and stress about again is the Urban Decay the Brow Box in the colour brown sugar just it's an amazing product I can't not mention how amazing this product is and I don't know where I would have been without it and I'm so happy that I did purchase it and to fill in different colour skin tone brows it is amazing for my concealer under eye wherever pigmentation around the face I've been loving again my Ben Nye banana powder this is literally a godsend and it does give you that really nice highlighted effect so definitely been reaching for this a lot and this I think will be in a lot of my monthly favourites alongside two products I've mentioned before one is the soft and gentle um, highlighting powder and the other one is the soft the medium dark sorry uh, finishing powder so these two have been again a favourite this month by MAC some cheek products I have been using these accessorise bronzer a lot this month and it just gives you a nice shimmery colour so it's been really gorgeous because of the summertime I've been loving this because I don't contour as much I just kind of bronze my face with this and it gives you a nice glow four blushes I've been using three different blushes um, this one is by MAC which is the pleasure model in the extra dimension blusher if you haven't seen that one there and again I mentioned in my other video which is these cheek stamps by number 17 and they are absolutely amazing I've also got a mirror on the front all you do is literally spin it I've got the product in there and then you've got your stamp on there you literally just smile and stamp it on your face and it's just amazing like I stamp a bit on the back of my hand the colour is just so gorgeous and it stays on all day and it's just super pigmented Anti foundations as again I've been telling you ladies I have been um, rotating with my foundations and the ones that I've been loving this month is the Luminous Silk Foundation by Georgie Armani and this is in the shade 7.5 and also the YSL Foundation which is in the shade BD60 so these two have definitely been um, number one favourites of this month I have literally found my holy grail concealer um, I literally do not use anything else um, unless I'm just on um, like a normal day or I just need to make use of my concealers but as you ladies know I've been loving the M16 24-7 Urban Decay Concealer this is by far the best concealer in the whole world that I've ever tried and I seriously do not get any coverage matching to this and I've tried all concealers okay so the other two that I have been using a lot is the Smashbox um, concealer and this is in the shade 6.0 and it is the camera ready concealer which is in the scroll like that and also the YSL pen one in the shade number three so this is the highlighting pen so I've been loving that as well the two Chalette Radiant Touch has been another favourite to conceal and highlight. For mascara and eye primer, no surprise again, L'Oreal Telescopic, by far the best mascara, always does give me the false lash effect, and NARS um, Lid Primer and Chilled On Ice Primer by MAC. For my face before foundation, I've been using a lot this month is the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiant Base Lumia in the yellow colour. And this is the new product that I did come out in the Radiant Glow Collection and I do think it is amazing and does bring out um, all of your blemishes in your face so you can cover them up with your foundation. And the L'Oreal Nude Magic Blur Cream Instant Flawless Protector in Medium to Dark Skin. This is again a gorgeous primer and 
it just feels like the Smashbox one on the face and it just sinks into the skin and makes your foundation look flawless and matte. I just wanted to mention my gorgeous Bellamy hair extensions. These are absolutely amazing and I love these hair extensions so much and I've actually been using them a lot this month to just create loads of updos, down do's and just loads of different styles so yeah they've definitely been my favourites these are in number 4 chocolate brown the Lily Bellamy 260 gram hair extensions if you ever want to check these out or purchase them I do highly recommend these because these extensions are phenomenal so yeah this is the end of my March favourites I hope you have enjoyed it please do hit the thumbs up button comment below if you've got any questions or want me to do any in depth reviews of any products uh, mentioned I will obviously list everything down below please also do hit the subscribe button and check out the giveaway and I shall see you on my next video thank you so much for watching take care bye